This is going to be a little demonstration of how you might try and do these block by block puzzles. So you have this deck of cards, and in the deck of cards, there are 60 different problems that you can try to solve. And if you were just to look at like problems 1 through 9, it's not like they're in order of difficulty. So if you jumped right into the first problem, you'd actually find this one to be pretty tough. So you can pick any one you want to try first. And I thought it might be good to just start with a cube. And a cube is a square in three dimensions, pretty much, where you have, in this case, three by three by three blocks. So it's three tall, three wide, and three deep. So I'm going to set that just to the side for a second. So we have our one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different shapes. All seven shapes will be used. And in the end, if we have something sticking out, that one really wouldn't be work because you have to match the picture uh, perfectly. So as we look at this cube, let's see. Maybe I think this L shape would be a good one to start off on the bottom. And I just kind of, through trial and error, see what might happen. And as I go about it, it looks like I kind of have shapes that aren't going to work out for this way because the path that I went down made it so that I have some things that are sticking out and just aren't really going to work. So I could try and remove one piece or I could try to remove a couple pieces and see if I can fix it. And sometimes, you know, you really just start over to, you know, completely. So let's pretend that I've been doing this for a couple minutes now and it's grown a little bit frustrating. That's going to make it okay for me to check out the hints on the back. As I flip the card, looks like there's hint 2, but there's also hint 1. So I'm only going to look at hint 1 and I'm going to try again. So it looks like there's this T-shaped piece that they want me to pull out right here. Looks like there's the L-shaped piece that I'm going to pull out for this first step. And then this one, let's see if we can find that guy. It's not here, here, or here. This one only has three blocks to it, so that one's easy to tell apart. But these two look awfully similar. Now, I try to set them so that they look the exact same. And I get pretty close, but I realize something. I realize that if I had a mirror right down the middle, there's two, two, and then there's these guys tall. So one of these is right, and one of these is wrong. So if your hint ever tells you to pull out that piece, you're going to want to look really closely and make sure that as you rearrange it and shuffle it around, that you do have the correct one. And I'm looking at this upside down, so it's hard for me to tell. And that actually would not be the correct one. This would be the correct one. Give it a little bit of time, you'll be able to figure it out. Now the next thing you're going to look at is these dashed lines. Now these dashed lines tell you that piece needs to end up here. That piece needs to end up here. So I'm going to do this a little bit more quickly, but I'm going to choose the L shape first, and I'm going to throw that so that it would be in the middle of my cube. The next one that might be helpful to place is going to be this L-shaped one, which kind of comes in and is going to tuck right there, right at the end of my L-shape. Now I'm doing this quickly because I don't want to bore you and make you watch me do this for five minutes. And then this last piece is going to go and sit right here. So I kind of have the makings of a cube. So now you're going to want to go and try a bunch of different arrangements and see how it goes. So we're going to pull our other pieces back in. And let's see. Maybe this fits here. 
maybe this fits here. And I'm really close, but I have something sticking out at the edge, and that's going to mess me up. Now, after trying for a little while, I ended up getting the cube that we wanted. And you'll want to double check to make sure it matches the picture on the card. And the thing about this problem is there's apparently 240 different ways that you could answer this. So even if you kind of hit a little stopping point or you get held up by something, keep on trying different things and see what happens. And most importantly, please make sure that all seven pieces get back in the bag and that you get all the cards neatly back in the deck and try not to uh, bend or fold things up or anything like that. So see how many you can get done and try and keep track of the ones you've already completed.